was very attracted to this uh, story, The Legend of Man and White Snake. I found it interesting because uh, that animal is not, is not a very cuddly, fuzzy kind of animal. So it's very difficult to humanize a snake. But I think uh, the story manages to do just that because you see the depth of the love of the snake spirit for her husband, the kinds of sacrifices that she, she's willing to go through. Mama White Snake tells a heartwarming story about family, about accepting difference. And I think that we need this story more than ever in the history of mankind today. The idea of accepting difference and understanding and making space for people who are different. There's a lot of comedy, there's a lot of heart. So there's something very innocent, very joyful and magical for the children. But there's also something for the adults. On top of all the usual complexities um, of putting a musical together, the usual choreography, singing, acting, um, working with live musicians, uh, learning where to stand during which line. These actors have um, to deal with two very complex layers on top of all this, and that's Chinese opera and wushu. For the adults, all are not professionally trained in Chinese opera or wushu. I need to enrich them with the knowledge first before I get into the choreography and make them fight like they are really fighters. I thought it was going to be easier, but it's the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life. It's not about strength at all, you know, it's a, wushu is really about control. Evan and I first started doing our spear routine. At first, we were both just kind of going at it. We were really hitting and we were like, duck, 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 you know. But Gordon kept saying, no, 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 no strength. Don't use strength. Just barely tap it. So I've never had to sing and dance and do Chinese opera at the same time. It's been, been decades since been, I've been on stage, so it is terrifying. <laughs> and I have to do this nearly acrobatic uh, moves. And somebody my age is not very easy. We arrive walking at rehearsals and we leave limping. You know, you can ache and you can groan and you go like, ah, that's, you know, but then you, you think, well, in the end, actually, it's going to be quite worthwhile. I think in all the years of Panto history, we haven't had one that really specialises in writing and uh, exploring the minute details of Chinese culture as much as this production. I've always enjoyed the fact that I can see the production from start to finish. That's extremely fulfilling. I mean, the songs are quite beautiful, of course. Elaine likes to write songs with very wide ranges to challenge her singers. So I'm actually going to be doing a song that's like, it's got almost a two octave range, which is pretty unusual. So I'm, I'm going to have to be like very disciplined over the show to make sure that the body and the voice are okay. I've always loved playing the baddies in a pantomime because you know, you always have to be good in real life and you shouldn't be bad. So when you have the opportunity to play a bad person and having fun at it, why not? To do dancing and singing and acting together concurrently on stage, to remember the choreography, it's good. Like It's almost like a good training for me, like you know, a, a recap of my training. So there are some kids who are better at singing, there are some kids who are better at dancing, there are some kids who are better at acting. You make the kids do what they're best at. Konnichiwa! Hi, I'm Aria. I'm nine years old and I love doing musicals. I'm very happy to be doing Mama White Snake and I guess it's a little different. They made us do wushu in this one and it's very difficult actually. I think people should come and watch the show as they can catch me and my friends and also Uncle Ivan and Uncle Glenn. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. It's a great show with a lot of great music. It's fun, it's funny. The kids are so wonderful to work with. Um, I, I'm working with such a great ensemble. All in all, a musical for families. So I think that whether you're 5 or 85, there's something in it for you. Hands up, hands up, hands up.